Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna go over the OBS settings for setting up a Zoom virtual guest in your actual presentation. So if you are trying to set up a guest where you have a guest speaker or something like that to present to your audience or your community or whatever the case may be, we're gonna show you how to set that up right now. So let's go. So first we're gonna hit this new scene button. We're gonna hit the plus button and we're just gonna call this Zoom guest. I didn't mean to transition out. Boom. So we caught this scene, scene Zoom Guest, just like this. So that now we have a scene set up called Zoom Guest, and we're going to go ahead and add some sources to this. So just so to make it clear, we're going to just move this up so you can see the sources very easily. And we're going to hit this plus button here, and we're going to add our pre-made graphic. Um, you can, again, make your graphic with transparency. Uh, add it to it and we're going to go ahead and put our guest frame in here so again you just simply create new you can create new here you can call it image and then follow, find the image on your desktop or wherever and then you can import that image in so we're just going to use the one from one of our previous um, previous versions right so I'm going to just delete this image Add existing guest frame, boom. And that's just gonna allow you to, allow me or you even to add your branding to the frame or frame it in a in a, a special type of way just for your audience. Now, with that being said, we're gonna go into adding ourselves for one. So we're gonna add ourselves to the left side, we're gonna add our guests to the right side. So let's add ourselves. So we're gonna go ahead and add another source. We're gonna do a a video capture device which we already have one set up so we're going to do our camera one cropped and it's just like that so you might be asking like how did how did you how did you get it to not be full screen as in your previous video so let's just kind of go over that so we're going to do another one and let's say we do uh can video capture video test right we're just gonna call this video test and it's every time i see this every time i hit um every time i hit the space bar button it changes so transition back and just for the sake of this video give me one second while we actually go in and change our settings back from every time we hit the space bar because i do want to be able to to enter names without the space bar um changing the scene become a patreon today and support this community and support this channel you might be asking why would i want to do that well one of the reasons is we are creating coding camps and tech camps for kids and a lot of the Patreon dollars will go towards setting up those coding and tech camps with equipment and all of the things that are necessary to teach younger generations how to do some of the digital media techniques that we teach here at Digital Realm. So with that being said, your Patreon dollars will go towards scholarships for certain members of the Digital Realm community. So with that being said, make sure you get your membership. but. At the same time, become a Patreon if you're not really interested in becoming a member just yet. Let's go. All right, so now it shouldn't change anymore. So boom, now let's continue on. Hopefully that gave, gave you enough time to catch up uh, as we had that little quick intermission, but let's continue on. So with that being said, we have our, we have our scene set up here and we have the video test the video test is the full version this is the full version of how video comes or this video comes in webcam might be more square or whatever but how this video comes in from the dslr camera but you might be asking how do i crop it to make it fit because if i drag if i try to drag from the left bar or the you know these boxes it just scales all the way but how do you make it how do you make it crop like that Simply how to do that is when you grab this this tra um, this box to transition or transform it Hold down alt first click then drag and you can see this green button shows up or this green line shows up And you can do it all in any direction and then just 
fit it to your actual crop it to your actual the size you need it to be so boom we need it about that size I say we need the let's get a little bit off that side just like this and boom that's how you would crop the image but that's myself of course but essentially that's how you would crop the image so we will put this over here like so and then put it under the guest frame right I'm gonna just delete the one we pre-made and put it under guest frame just like that so boom now you have your video feed for yourself so this could be your 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 webcam or whatever right to be your webcam or whatever now the next the next phase of this we are going to go into we are going to go into zoom so let's go ahead and open zoom actually let's open it over here we're going to go ahead and open zoom and in the zoom mat essentially what you're going to do is just uh let's just start a new meeting right we're going to start a new meeting and bring it up bring it i'm going to share this screen over here with you guys so in, in essence what we're going to end up doing is a display capture so we're going to run zoom on full screen on the monitor and then we're going to do the same thing we did before for how we did the video feed we're going to run it on that monitor and then Display capture it and crop it in where your actual speaker is going to be when you have your speaker I highly suggest you pin the speaker to the top. I'm gonna show you how to do that if the display pops up here Now again, you want to just Drag those handles So you get it where it's just the speaker And I suggest that you make the speaker full screen as big as possible, really. Like so. Scale it up like this. And you just want to line it up. Like so. That will be the best, best way to go about just capture a screen easily. Zoom. There is another way. So you can hit add another source and do a window capture. When you have your window capture, make sure you find your program, which is Zoom meeting that we want. Oh yeah. If you have Windows, make sure you get the capture method being Windows 10 or higher, and then that'll make it work. So then you just want to do the same thing. Hold down Alt, click and drag from the corners. Make the as big as possible. And then just move that over. Let's go ahead and put our guest frame back. This seems to be flowing a lot better than doing the than doing the the screen capture. And I'm assuming because the screen capture, I'm I have multiple screens, so it's probably just trying to compute like so. Boom. So there, you see there's a tiny delay in the actual feedback of the screen. But, you know,
that just may be how it is for Zoom. But essentially, you're able to set this up for your community just like this. Um, what else can we? What else can we talk about? So that's the Zoom that way. So we did the screen capture, which is this version. We did the window capture, which is this version. And we can even test the difference. And there's not much of a difference, actually. It's not really much of a difference. So, if I were to choose one, it really doesn't matter. Whichever one streams better or records better or whatever, that's probably the one you want to go with. Boom, there it was. That's exactly how you would set your OBS studio up for a Zoom call. So you can have guests, speakers, or whatever the case may be. You can then bring those people on to speak at your actual meeting or at your actual webinar or at your actual um presentation so with that being said i hope you found this video valuable make sure you like you subscribe you definitely at minimum share this with somebody who know they can use this share this with somebody who you know that they can benefit from what we are teaching here so with that being said i'll see you all in the next video take care later y'all peace I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, go to digitalrim.com and become a member today. With your membership, you get access to our course library. We have all different types of digital media content creation topics that you can cover and learn for yourself. Very beginner friendly, just like this video. So with that being said, go to digitalrim.com and get your membership today. And don't forget, join our Discord community at the link below. You can get access to a lot of topics and discussions about these videos just like this from members of the Creator Camp. So with that being said, hopefully I'll see you in the Discord community in the link below. Let's go.